everybody. I'm Nagoya. And I'm Sherry. And we're here today to talk about another baseball idiom. This time we're going to talk about... A ballpark figure. So, a ballpark figure has a really easy meaning. It just means a guess or an estimate. It's very common when we talk about numbers. Um, so it's very common in, in work related to money or finance and very common in the business world. But we also use it a lot in our own conversations about anytime we're not sure, we just need to make an estimate about something. So the term ballpark figure, of course, comes from baseball. And it has to do with the fact that a baseball field is pretty big. It's not very common for the baseball to go all of the way outside of the ballpark. It usually needs to land inside the ballpark. But there are a lot of places it can land and still be in play. You don't have to be too precise. You can hit it a lot of different places and the game will still continue. So that's why when we say ballpark figure, figure refers to numbers or money and ballpark just means it can be anywhere in a certain area. It doesn't need to be exactly a specific number. So Sherry, can you give us some examples? Yes, so I took my car in for a repair, and before I took it in, I called and asked the mechanic what the ballpark figure on the repairs would cost. I wanted an estimate before I took the car in. Mm -hmm. So some other examples might be, say, you're, you broke your screen on your phone. I hope this hasn't happened to you. And you take it to the repair shop, and you say, um, how much do you think this will cost? And they say, well, a ballpark figure might be $100 to replace your screen. It could, it could be more than that, it could be less than that, but that's a ballpark figure. So let's talk a little bit about the grammar. Ballpark figure is a noun phrase, so you just use it like a noun. It's very easy to use. Um, you saw it in some of the examples. It's usually referred to singular, so there's only one. You say a ballpark figure. You can use it in plural if you're talking about different estimates about different things, but just use it kind of like you would a noun and you'll be ready to go. So we hope this video helps you. If you liked it and you want to learn more about baseball idioms, be sure to watch the other videos in this series. And go Royals! Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other resources at readylanguage.com. <laughs>